haven't seen you. Hell of a mustache as we always, started. really. Huh? We haven't started yet. Yeah, no, we kind of started. This could be it if we like it. Oh, really? Did yeah. it start it? Yeah, well, yeah he, he pressed record and walked away. We're going. We're going <laughs> We're right now. That's how we do it, things dude. at the dogs. That is what separates the... the dogs. Everyone else is stressing, yeah. lights, camera, action. Quite frankly, I think there's too many goddamn lights in here. There's too many fucking lights. You know lights. what? One, I'm going to watch, three, four, yeah, five, I'm gonna watch six, my GDs. I'm, excuse seven, me. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, too twelve. Too many lights. I don't 13. know what that is. We don't have a camera up there. That used to be Halo. a chandelier. Now it's like a weird artistic light situation. Too many yeah. cameras. This, I am not a guy of production value. No. I tell Brandon when he clips my my when he makes my clips more grain, grainier. grainier I want the, the I don't want my lips to match the words, but every time they do. <laughs> That's just you want a good Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, I got to where I am, which is the lobby. You know, ground yeah, floor. I got yeah. to where I am. By no production value. Me and Nico hey. in a backyard, nothing. My producer walks away. I'm ready to go. Yeah. That's exactly what I needed. Brandon knows what he's doing. He does. He knows he does. what he's, he's doing. He's going to go take a shit and he's going to let magic happen. <laughs> he, d- he drank three quarters of a coffee. Yeah. And he's going to go blow it out his ass. I got him a Capri Sun and I was worried that he wasn't going to be excited about it, but he was. Okay. And good. I think, are you a Capri Sun guy? I'm not. I like to drink things. Well, here's the thing. I was going to say I like to drink things with uh, nutritional value. Yeah. I don't think Topo Chico holds any. These, minerals literally brother. it's mineral water okay it's but, got minerals yeah you could lick a stone and get some minerals it's true that's very true and and this is tastier than a stone no no absolutely this is my favorite beverage in the game here's the thing i do believe it dehydrates you you're drinking half half of its air half of it we're just air. talking about seltzer here folks any type of uh yeah what used to be the term for that club soda that's what my mom used to call it yeah she was that to, mineral but that wasn't mineral i think that's just fizzy water fizzy water but what are we talking about? They got this from a waterfall? Yeah. No, no, no. They get this from the ground in Mexico. Mm. Since Mexico is 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 like And what is this Juarez water? Juarez water. Yeah, because that is a dry area, dude. <laughs> well, the underground, some of the mountain ranges in Mexico, there's a lot of like fertile places in Mexico. By the way, uh, dude, the nice touched. A nice little thing that Texas does is fall hits in December. Yeah. They don't tell you that, dude. The leaves are falling out there today. I don't know if you've seen. We got a nice Brother. gust of wind. It's looking good. It's, it's looking great. Raining golden brown. Yeah. And that's what you want to see. A little bit of red. A little bit of red. We don't uh, have too the much. Juniper co- trees are in full fucking swing. And yeah. my my face can feel it. That's right. What do you oh, are you uh you're allergic to the Jays? Mm-hmm. That I should clean that comment up, huh? Allergic to the Jays. Yeah, it's probably not good in today's climate. Uh, <laughs> Dean we is just allergic. don't have any around here. Dean is allergic <laughs> to the Jays, dude. Um, can you tell that half my face is shaven? No. I was in a, I was in a frenzy this morning, or just on my way out the door. I'm like, dude, this, sh- this side is shaven, and this, this side's not. not. But I'm rocking mustache right now. It's but you're not. also like you've got like kind of a blonde. Yeah. Your, your under hair is blonde. You're deceptively a ginger. You want? Would you like to talk about that or pass I'm over? Down it? I'm, I'm down I'm, for it. Because I'm I'm like the forefront of the community. Yeah, yeah. You got come that, to you're, me. you're rocking the top. It's me, Ed Sheeran, Conor McGregor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Who else? The lady. Carrot top. Who, Carrot top. Well, he's made some decisions that we. His his counsel is up for review. What's the girl from uh, Kate Winslet? She's in. Rose. Titanic. Rose. Oh, yeah. she's a good red. She's a good. She's red. a good red. She's good, a good red. red. Great red. <laughs> Imagine good classy she's a black red. woman. Just that's a good black. <laughs> that's a good black. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh... Uh, can you tell half my face is shaven from that angle? Uh, no. Either I don't way think we play so. it, I mean, there's no. I don't know. Can you give me some stubble and post? <laughs> can you clean that up? Can you post stubble? I might be able to. Uh, we went hunting yesterday. We did go hunting yesterday. Well, hunting's a verb. Well, that's why it's called hunting, not killing. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We went searching. Dude, Brandon, yesterday. So I, a little backstory about me. This will be in the Wikipedia one day. I had a little, I had a little season of hunting in Virginia. I got back from deployment. It was COVID. Not much going on. They dropped the show alone on uh, Netflix. Have you seen that show? Uh-uh. Have you seen that program? No. You haven't watched it? No. What it is, it's it's got much like your stuff. Honestly, I've thought about throwing your name in the hat and surprising you with this with no preparation, just seeing how you do. Yeah. It's 12 people. Could be 16, could be eight. I'm saying 12. They go out to a remote place. Okay. I've seen Alaska. I've seen Canada. They've gone like to the Patagonia Forest, which I believe is South America. Okay. Fact check me all you want. I don't know. They go to like desolate places, right? Yeah. Uh, or Where just, humans aren't typically rolling around. Yeah, yeah. Check out uh, if you can see the last uh, just last season of Alone, just to give an idea. But it's like uh, 
like Vancouver Island. Have you heard of that place? Yeah. Yeah, I think they went there. And Good hunting grounds? It is, the way you win is to be the last one surviving. It's not like survive, it's not like make it 60 days, make it a year, it's whoever's the last one standing. So that could be 50 days, it could be th uh, like- But you're alone. You're alone by yourself, but there's 12 people and they have them set up, dip they'll never run into each other. Oh, they have shit. it set up, like they're, they have their own areas and like I believe to a certain, there's probably boundaries like, hey, you can't leave. Yeah. They all have their own areas so they never see each other out there. Yeah. Um, and they can bring like they each get a choice of like three or four tools okay and you know some of them choose like a weapon some of them choose a bow some of them just choose stuff for traps there's people that go a long time just trapping squirrels and rabbits uh -huh. and doing that kind of thing uh oh definitely one guy killed a moose he, this guy was on rogan he killed a fucking moose with a bow and arrow and then he had to like build a structure to keep all the meat away from the wolverines <sighs> and this was like in the snow because you, like yeah, you, you're not eating that one meal, that moose. No, I mean you kill a moose, you win the game. You just kind of like you got to figure out how to keep it, you store gotta, it. Yeah, and then you, you also sure need. I don't think you can just survive off of that lean protein. Like this guy was you losing weight off of off of eating that moose. Yeah, it was need, too lean. You need you need other shit. Fish. They all have access to water too. Okay. But some of them don't elect to fish. The ones who elect to fish tend to do pretty well. Yeah, fishing is. I mean, the food source that fish provides. I mean, all of your you you got fats in there. You got your fucking yeah. You know meat. Your protein. so let's go over your resume here. Yeah, let's just go over what and be honest with yourself. I would yeah, be honest yeah, with yourself. Okay. Um, harvesting. How do we how do we feel about identifying? And and again, you know you're gonna be on the show. You have about a year to prep. Okay. Okay. Hundred percent. So are you gonna be able like like are you would you put a focus into forging? I would I would put a for, I would put a focus into forging depending on where we're at. Like if it's in Texas, I know where no, to no, get no, brother. roots. I know where to get. <laughs> okay. Your but mindset's over. You're, you're not in a good place starting <laughs> off, dude. Yeah. No, this is you're gonna go. It's always somewhere super fucking cold. Like it hits like Ooh. the fives, the tens. Is this the last one? Yeah. So New it was Finland. up in Newfoundland, up here. This is like this is the bigger maps. You can see it's the very top eastern part of Canada. Now before we go any further in a separate tab, can you please pull up a picture of a Newfoundland dog? Mm -hmm. A Newfoundland dog, and I'm going to show you why. This is this is going to explain it all. That's why they're bred that way. That we're talking Jesus. cold weather, baby. That's from the area. They breed this. Look at that thing. It's yeah, a gorilla. If it's, in, if it's in cold weather, a I'm not going to focus on foraging because you're not you're not going to get. And for a second, take a second to appreciate this this animal. Look at that dog. It's a gorgeous pup. Brandon, don't you just kind of want to grab his cheeks? Yeah, dude. I want to. I want to shake Those him. Jowls. Get... He used him to dry off after the shower too. Yeah, man. Oh, dude, that, 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 that's a dog. If he, if he gets wet, wet he's if, if he gets wet, he's wet for a week. That, <laughs> yeah. that dog. All right, back he's to. He's got a blow dryer. You're gonna have to put him through one of those car wash blow dryers. Right. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be so cute too. His little, his little <laughs> fucking everywhere. cheeks flapping. But anyways, uh, so we're talking cold weather. All right. Yeah. So yeah, you're not. It's not. You so don't get to clock out and go to the honky four, tonk. <laughs> you, you're bringing four things. So like. Uh, to, uh, Two of my four things. Well, if we be, can maybe if we can look up how many items they get to bring, I, let's call it four for now. But yeah, I think I would bring one of them. Two of the things would be a. Um, and now there are things that they give you, like a compass, a fire starter, oh. and then maybe something like a flashlight. Those are guaranteed, I think. Yeah. All right. Contestants are allowed to choose ten items. Okay. That changes it. All right. Beyond the standard gear, they can't choose anything they want though. So it's not like a, you can't choose a rifle. Yeah. You can't choose thermal goggles. Well, a rifle's like as good as the fucking... The, the arrow? Well, as good as the, the bullets. I mean, once you run out of bullets... These are the things that they automatically get, Brandon? These are the things that they can choose from. So, like, oh, here's a list the that the te contestants can choose. Uh, their individual gear list. They can choose everything they want. Said so they can own, They can choose from a list of items that span in several categories. So we have shelter, hygiene, cooking, and food tools weapons and other and there's probably like comb 10 is on age. the list if anyone chooses a comb i'm not betting on them be such a ballsy thing to do uh i'd make a comb day two what are you seeing the essentials on there like to me i feel you, like like i can make i mean a sleeping pad's nice but do i need a sleeping pad i mean you got to think about your your sleep is 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 going to play crucial. a huge factor crucial in, also in yeah your back stability your back yeah. you're having to do all this you and having a place where you can just go back and get away from everything is huge right when you're, when you're oh no the, the the main focus is always their like home base like yeah. the ones who have a strong i see i seen a dude build a log cabin out there mm -hmm. and he put too much effort into it by the time he was done he was famished 
Yeah. Like he put all his, it, dude, it was incredible. It's yeah. like now just out there in the wilderness. There's just, just, just a, yeah, I, no one will ever use it. But um, I think the sleeping bag is uh, is underrated, or the, not the sleeping pad. The hammock is underrated, especially if it's snowy. It keeps you off the wet ground and shit. Yeah, like where your weather. fucking heads at. I right got now, you. Yeah, but all the heat. See, this was a team situation. Yeah. Not a doubt in my mind. We got an outside the box guy. Uh -huh. We got a hunter, and then I can negotiate with the tribals. Yeah, you know, somebody with just that yeah, level I'm, ten charisma. You got the talker right here, dude. <laughs> yeah. You know, go talk the savages into help. And then us. we need a hot girl to sacrifice savages. to them. <laughs> that's what, that's what we need. We need an offering. <laughs> we need we need a woman we can offer up. To do. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, the first one, I'm going to go, uh, you don't need fucking dental floss. Uh, no shower. No, you could use a leaf. Um, I would go with the sleeping pad out of the first one and three millimeter cotton cord. If that if that towel is microfiber, I'm in. Those don't get wet, dude. It's, a, it's insane. Yeah. Or that 550 paracord, 80 meters max. Now, bar of soap could be big because keeping yourself clean, like, you get start getting infected. So here's another thing. They have like 30 day checkups. Yeah. And if you're going to die, they pull you like some people's will is better than their skill. Yeah. Nice little rhyme. Nice little rhyme. Pocket that one. And, uh, usually we have a, uh, air horn guy in here, but he called beep, out. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Who's your air horn guy? Uh, <laughs> in my head, it's Heath. <laughs> Heath would be a great air Heath horn guy. Be a great air Heath horn would guy. be a great. I was thinking Dave J. Dave J. He just turns around. He's facing the corner the whole time. And we just have him in a swivel chair, <laughs> and then just back to the corner. Because he's a, Dave J. Would kill that job. He would crush it. Um, but yeah, they come and check. I've seen a girl get pulled from the show, and and she was batshit crazy. However, yeah. she was lasting out there. Brother, she was catching rabbits. The th the thing is, every rabbit she caught, she cried over and like made a saint. Like it was, it was yeah. I think she reached the point where she's like, I can't kill another rabbit. It's breaking yeah. my heart. Ugh. So she started eating leaves and like in a week lost 70 pounds. 70 pounds? Something How insane. heavy was she to begin with? She was a chubby gal. Okay. The sh dude, now that's the move too is to flub up before this. Yeah. I've seen a fat guy win it. Damn. But he was a nature fat. He was a nature fat. He was fat. an outdoor fat. He was an outdoor fat. An outdoor fat like is a guy. To somebody we know. Um... That's the thing. They're not. They're not. Like Nat what season was he? In, not a nature fat. Indoor fat. Indoor fat. Indoor fat. Um, give me. Give me another. Uh, let's see. Who else is chunky in our scene? Um, Chris Reese. Outdoor fat. Outdoor fat. Outdoor. I would fat. say he's an outdoor fat. He's I don't know if it's just the fat. flannel and the and the beanies that he wears. Yeah. Outdoor um, fat. He would. He would. I feel like he'd be a good guy to be in the woods with. Yeah. For the campfire stories. <laughs> yeah. And the man can work a malo. If you just give him a task, he can mindlessly do that task until he's, he's done. not going to complain. He's not going to complain. He's not going to complain. A couple of a couple of these tubbies. He's going to find. He's going to sniff out drugs if they're out there. Yeah, Ike Rafferty, outdoor, mm. outdoor, outdoor. Good guy. examples. Uh, Manitoba man survived seventy eight days. I, is that the record? So here's my thing. W before we go in any further, with the Canadians do well in this. I do they say. tell you? Which is crazy. Well, I mean, I guess if they're like tempered for cold weather. I mean, I don't think they have central AC up there, dude. Good for them. You know, I don't know why we do. <laughs> Here? Yeah. You're crazy. Dude, I'm telling you, I didn't grow up with a lot of it. And uh, if you just push through it, your body will regulate to temperatures. You just got to stay in the shade. No, in Texas, that doesn't matter. I hate that. People did the it shade until matters like the 80s the or 90s. No, when... dude, they were so grumpy back then. Dean, we're happy now. We have AC, baby. I don't think so. We're actually buddy. probably like the most angry we've ever been. <laughs> we've ever been. So just, yeah, maybe just you're regulate right. to the temperature around you. No, and it's a pain the, in the ass because you go from seventy degrees you know out what, into fucking ninety. You know what central AC did? Hmm. It took away real problems. It took away real problems. Now we have fake shit. To and your about. your mental strength. Yeah, you're just always co you're constantly training, and there's no way to like you can't stay in a heated house. Here's the thing: I start to have these rational conversations cold. with you, and then I remember you jump into swamps and wrestle alligators, and, <laughs> and it all goes out the way. I, I forget I'm talking to. Uh, I did ice bath. I've been doing ice baths. All right, that's I'm a little less. I did one recently. I went 37 seconds. I was proud of it until I until Spencer was like, "Dude, I did two minutes my first try." Yeah. And I was like, "Well, I've been to two deployments, so shut the fuck up." So, 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 oops. <laughs> so oops. So oops. So oops. Sorry. <laughs> so shut the fuck Sorry. up. Sorry, Spencer. Uh, but no, I do want to go a little longer. It does. It's one of those things where you get out and you're just like, "Why am I so calm?" Yeah. Why am I so fucking Nothing calm? Nothing else matters. Like, like there could be a bomb I was coming. Worried right about now. doesn't matter. Yeah. That's what they needed back in World War II, dude. 
the Japanese just needed a hop in the ice. Calm the fuck oh, down. I was like, I think the soldiers in Germany oh. were doing it. Yeah. And the France boys. The and boys were fighting. I think the... they were doing speed. Man, and yeah. had no idea. They just thought it was a mineral pill. Yeah, yeah, man. Just a supercharged mineral pill. And then their teeth started falling out. Their lips started. What's up with that meth mouth? Is that just from losing teeth? I think it's a. I think it's something from uh, like the chemicals that's in meth. Uh, like derode and erode, and then you don't like you don't care about yourself, so you don't Stream, brush your teeth. Stream you don't do tooth anything. decay too. Meth, Meth mouth. mouth, dude. Is this this looks like a medical site? Yeah, I'm gonna try and <laughs> is find that a, out an actual definition. Meth yeah, mouth. Yeah, I'm gonna find out. The what buzz from meth lasts exactly. about 12 Crave hours during the substance. buzz. The user will crave sugary substance like soda and can Yeah, oh, oh these guys are, Oh, yeah, dude. Teeth. I'm bad about grinding teeth, my teeth when yeah. I sleep. I had no idea. Yeah, but these meth guys stay strapped with a liter of Mountain Dew. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah, they love their sugar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'd imagine you smoke a nice bowl of meth and then just come across like a Was bag of Skittles. a nice bowl of meth? Like a good strain. Do they have strain? Is there a sativa? They say that there's like that was what Breaking Bad was about, right? That the guy came. Oh, up Blue Magic. What was it? Yeah. Blue Dream. Blue, blue, blue sky. Blue That's sky. What they called it. Blue sky. Blue sky. We we have a super fan blue over sky. here. Love Breaking Bad. Yeah, it so, says also there's the batter. It includes battery acid, fertilizers, and household cleaning agents, so it wears down your teeth. Nice. Ugh. So gross. Nice. So gross. It so, says you also don't brush your teeth because I think like you, you got it like brushing your teeth is really fucking important and mm -hmm. you don't you don't do it when you're on meth. I've been accused of overbrushing it lately by my girlfriend. She's been coming at me, saying you're overbrushing she your said, teeth. She said, "How many I'm times not, are you brushing a day?" Just after I eat, dude. I mean, if I'm home, the toothbrush is right there. Let's just clean mm -hmm. it out. That's not a bad idea. I, What's, what, I, I thought the dentist said after every meal. Now they're saying once a day. They're changing it up on us, man. And I'm all telling right. you, big dental. Don't trust them. Don't trust them, dude. No. I, do, I'm, I'm doing a, a private gig. What are you doing on Friday? You doing anything on Friday? Mm, not sure yet. Friday at 7? We'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. doing a private gig for a dentist party. Okay. They're having their, their Christmas party, and they hit me up on Instagram. Interesting. They want me, to, want me to come out and do... They want me to do 45 minutes. That sounds at their, like at a good their, payday. It's a good payday. Yeah, yeah it's it's it's. They it's just give you pace. one of the one of those goodie bags that you get at the dentist. <laughs> 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 you just get a mini floss with a four, a, with, four, with you know with with the with the bills wrapped up there. And yeah, yeah, a paper yeah. Bag. Did you uh did you ever have braces back in the day? I did. Dude, choosing your color. Yeah. On that day when you would go in, and they would change out the color. That was big. You're thinking Huge. pussy. You're thinking what? Well, all right. What colors in with the girls right now? I've been yep. seeing them wear purple. And you pink. can't do pink. You no, can't you do can't purple. do pink. You, you don't do want to. You don't want to make the mistake of wearing like a salmon. I would do uh, during during uh, football. I would do my uh, um, mouthpiece. My mouth. No, I would do uh, my, our school colors. There you go. I go. I rotate every once. So I'm fucking. I'm wearing nice. that shit. What the fuck were we just talking about? I don't know. We got into it though. We got a. Uh, oh, the we, we were talking about would I survive? On well, this I want to know. So would you bring a bow? I would bring a bow. I've I've uh, I've dropped multiple animals with a bow, so I'd feel pretty okay. confident. Furthest? And, What's the furthest you've done it from? Uh, 40, 40 yards, okay. 40, 45 yards, somewhere around there. Uh, it's four first downs, Brandon. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. Right there. I just want to translate. I, uh, Thank um, you. <laughs> uh, uh, most, of the, most shots, 20, 25 yards. Wait until they're, like, It's pretty good, right dude. That's a field, I mean, that's a field goal. Yeah. It's a field, it's a halftime field goal right there. It's pretty good. That's not bad. And you took down an elk? No, I'm no. Just putting words tail. in your mouth there. You yeah. took down what was it, a rhino? <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a black bear. Now what uh, is? I took down a grizzly. Where that do was we a get? Knife that I took that one out. Is there an, is there any animal that skin cannot be penetrated by a bow? I know hogs. I've shot hogs before. Bounce right off. Fucking, I just like skimmed off of them. That's less. So like, I, I know it. It cut like it definitely cut them, and then like cut up and along their back and then out, and I would find the fucking arrow up in a tree. Brandon, I can't. Do you ever kill an animal? No, I'd like to. I can't tell, dude. Yesterday, me and Dean were sitting in the blind. It was it was getting desperate. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. The clock was winding down. We set a time that we were gonna leave, mm -hmm. and we even pushed it forward. We said 5:45, 5:25 was coming around. We didn't even hear not a rustle, not a rustle of a bush. So Dean's like, "Let's call it 5:30," and I'm like, "Bet." We're sitting there. I look to my left casually, and I kept my cool. I looked to Dean. I'm like, "There's a there's a big deer to my right." Or to my left. There's a big boy out there. And we turn around. Dean Dean fucking kicks open the back door, gets eyes on it. He's like, <laughs> that's, that's a buck, dude. We can't. Because yeah. we're on someone's land. I explained this to my friend. Yeah. 
you don't just go into someone's land and kill a buck. One, yeah. Two, this one was uh, too young, right? It's too young, so it has the the general um, like way to identify is if the the uh, antlers are outside the ears. So he was a spike. He had two little prongs at the front, but they were almost straight up and and pronged. And he looked by his body that he was about. Like he was still juvenile esque. He was like, so was like uh, a year or two old. Think about like a big teenage bull mask. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. how they kind of move a little goofy? Dude, yeah. this guy was bobbing that yeah, head. He I bro, I almost I almost laughed at him. <laughs> right? As he was in my sights, I was like laughing. And he gave us this, a good snort on his way out. He gave us a snort and then he he stopped at one point and was looking at me. Yeah. And I'm like, game over. Game over. But then he just kinda So I, if his body would have been a little bit bigger and he ha- and the way his antlers were kind of goofy. See how big are these? I thought, dude, Brandon, that thing looked like a Clydesdale to me. And he's like a oh, little guy, 85 pounds. And I'm like, how fucking big do these things I bet, get? I bet, yeah, I bet he was 80, 80 to 80 to 100, somewhere man, around there. God damn. Judging off the hoof. Um, dude, we gotta take Brando out, man. That would be fun. That'd be that sick. would be fun. Okay. I bet there's a there's a there's a third seat in there. I bet we could sit three. We could lap lay it, Maddie. Dude, I'll, I'll lay out in the other field, bro. I'll go prone in the other field. We'll, get, prone, all the, we'll get all the corners. Ah, oh, man. it's so, Dude, so I, I've been I, – I spent a fall in Virginia. I was living there. It was COVID. Not much going on. Alone dropped. I got into hunting. Okay. But it was just – and it's so beautiful in Virginia. It's thick woods. It was fall. The leaves were changing colors. But I was just – it was so freezing, and I'm just sitting in a tree alone – for like six hours, nothing's happening. Never saw an animal. One time saw a turkey. Really? Yeah, but it was out of season, and these guys were strict, which I respect. Yeah. Like very, we said yesterday, you were, conser- were con- conservationalists. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Hey, and that's the thing. You give that buck another chance at another uh, for another year, and if you see him next year, that's the thing about next year, is if we see him and he's got maybe three tines, a six-pointer, and they're outside of his ears, it's like... That's my guy. Well, that or... You give him another year, he's gonna be a fucking nine pointer. Yeah. So they just keep getting bigger and bigger. So it's like, but but then next year, if we see him and his and his antlers are just barely outside with those two forks still, it's a bad deer. We take him, dude. To me, oh okay. So yeah, because he's he's a uh, um, his genetics aren't good. But this is the thing he's with got you. Three this years is the thing with you out. hunters. Yeah. This is the thing. You'll see a deer and be like, oh, I've seen this one three years ago, man. Like, how the fuck do you know? You just know. We saw just, him briefly just, through binoculars. Yeah, yeah. You 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 get an idea of his body size. You get an idea. Should have named him Bruce. Where he's at. See, you do. That was young Bruce. You, and we're looking through the game trail cameras as well. Yeah, that's right. So if you see another deer there that that has next year, you know, it's kind of if if his horns are outside, or if his antlers are outside, and he's got like three prongs on either side. Now it's a. It could have been that spike from the year before. Um, but if we see him and it looks similar to that and it's just a little bigger or it's a little bit more outside, it's like, that's that motherfucker. Dude, You'll we're taking him and you're like, I'm, I know I'm it. taking know one. It. Mark, mark my words, Captain Sog's listeners, yeah. the pound. I am taking one down this year. We're getting a deer. We're getting a deer this year. Like, subscribe. I'll send you some jerky yeah. for being a loyal, <laughs> for being a loyal listener. And, uh, dude, I mean, I love the casualness of it. Yeah. Cause like when I did it in Virginia, it was a whole situation. Well, you still like, have to go through, like if we'd have shot one, if, if, no, if, I know, I get that. I get like, got the, the ones in the that pasture, been a long night. We would have been out, it would have been till nine. Yeah. At least. And that's, that's gutting, skinning, cause I would have let you do most we of it. We gotta go get a 12 pack. We'd have to, yeah, yeah 100%. Well, a, 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 a bottle of bourbon, yeah, something. Something like that. Sit there and skin it, and then we'd have to get package it up, and then. Sunday we would have put in about another two to three hours of of getting all the meat off and prepping it and packaging it and putting it in the freezer. And then we start stuffing it. And then we stuffing it. A little taxidermy, I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> I mean <laughs> No, I know. You could if you really want to go through the process, you stretch the pelt out. Yeah. Cut it above the neck. I the don't like that. You don't? Brandon, do you like walking into a freaking restaurant and there's just a deer staring at you? If it's a oh, diner, a hundred percent. I know that food's gonna go crazy. Yeah, you might get a little cigarette oh, a ash in your edge. Yeah, the, yeah, she's gonna give me a little sass, the, yeah. the waitress, but I'm gonna enjoy <laughs> but it. Also sass, but also she's gonna call you child when she asks if you need anything, and it's gonna or be darling, sweet. or baby. darling, honey. Yeah, yeah, honey. It would be worth it. Child was I was going into the black direction. Yes, you were. Because you go to like a, a Waffle House, there's always a sassy black woman who calls you child. There's not a lot of deer heads hanging up at a Waffle House. You heard me. True. 
True. Yeah, they hang up possum and, <laughs> and squirrel. <laughs> the homeless guy yeah. that died here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be really cool if, somebody, if you die of a heart attack at a Waffle House and they'll, they hang they'll you up. taxidermy you. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, my face on a plaque. Dude. <laughs> they just paint me silver. I'm like a I'm like a JFK buff. <laughs> which you have you have one of those i do no bullet hole though just no the head. bullet hole just the head you ever thought about installing one of those sticker ones i like accuracy i like historical accuracy i do enjoy it so yeah, yeah. i might i might add a uh a, a wound to that but uh are you taking the bow is that a yes yeah i'm taking the bow 100 we'll percent. we're stay, staying on track we'll stay on the track a little bit here. <laughs> i do take a bow and i probably um i would take a bow and a trap of some kind I don't know if, if it's a if it's a hand trap or if it's a uh, um, uh, uh, box trap, like a raccoon trap. Dude, they, there was a guy. I think you can get a long way with a raccoon trap, a long way. There was this guy who got a caribou in one of, I think, the Alaska episodes. Damn. And early on, a little pack of teenage cubs mm. found this carcass and was just harassing him. Like the he bears, was in a tree. He was in a tree at one point, just throwing rocks down at these cubs, and they're just munching down his caribou. Oh no! And then, like, you where are the mom? Here's where's the mom. Exactly. Well, that's that's the scary Around part. The but here's the thing too: is like, you end up spending all your energy on that, and you're yeah. not going to win. No. And now, like, you can't. Like, that's what they you always talk well about. Just... The later it goes, is like how important energy is. Like, even getting side excited over something will get you like exhausted. Because you're just not taking the proper calorie intake. And you're not sleeping correctly. Not sleeping correctly. You're not taking any vitamins. None of that shit. You're not. You're not having a beer at 6 p.m. with the boys. Yeah. You know, there's you're a lot of things. Not relief. Stress yeah. relief. You got probably monkey butt. We sh we shot it. <laughs> you got that monkey butt. Yeah, man. Um, I think uh, we shot a caribou in uh, the Denali mountain range. Oh wow! Three years ago, and when Canada. we shot it, we were in no Alaska. In, uh, Alaska. And there was like, there's bushes that are like head high. Yeah. And we were out there, uh, the shot it. bushfires, baby. Yeah. Those things are no, no joke. No joke. No joke. No joke. Some of that sage gets fucking crinkly. Yeah. Like a white chick at a, <laughs> at a seance. <laughs> just seance. lighting the sage. Um, so we get down in there. We shoot it from a, from a little hilltop. We shoot down and, uh, we get down in there. We get it. We get oh, it. you're like an Iraqi soldier in the Korangal Valley, dude. Yeah. Just fucking firing down hellfire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hellfire. We're bringing it with us. We get down there. We gut it. We skin it. We pull the. So you do it one side, like you 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 go from the neck, down the legs, and then down to the ass, and then you 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 peel it back so that it's got like a little blanket, and uh, you skin the back straps off. You cut the legs. Uh, any rib meat you want, the other leg, you lay it on the the piece of skin that you just skinned off, the, mm -hmm. the hide, and then you um, you cut it, you roll it all up, and then you have like a, a little backpack-esque thing. It's like a skeleton of a backpack. You stick that on it, you bungee cord it up, and then you set it to the side, then you roll the deer over. And then do the same thing on this side. I'll be asking you a question. You're doing this. Yeah. You know, you had a long day. You're tired. You're yeah. excited. You're emotional. You just killed a deer. You're eating tonight. Yeah. You're rolling this thing over. The head flops over and looks at you. It'll feel, be crazy. You feeling a little bad? Uh, oh, wait, wait, but it's dead? You may not just like flop Yeah, I mean, I know, you may, I know he's looking at you the whole time. He's dead. I mean, I, I started skinning deer when I was six or seven. Now, they do say that's a sign of a serial killer. What? Early, that's early like killing. Shooting, that's like killing cats. That's like killing cats yeah. and stuff. You're not eating. You're if providing. you're if you're knowing what you're doing and you're if you're killing deer still, at six, you're providing. I was I was I would I would cry the first couple times. There was God, there was times tough. that just like I, you just can't help it. I you're would probably sad. if I killed that deer yesterday, I'd probably cry. It, it's just fine. about upon like approaching it. Yeah, yeah, you know when you realize like it's such a beautiful animal and it's like providing me food and like I took the patience to be out because it's no mistake when you like to kill a deer properly. Yeah, I mean. Like I said, I love the casualness of it, but we're still at we what, what we sat there silent for two hours, probably so. Minimal we were talking a little bit, a little in the bit, beginning, and a little bit at the end, but really for for two or three hours, probably just sat there and just fucking just watched. focused. I dude. fell asleep twice, and it takes you away from life, and yeah. it's peaceful, and you don't mind. Like I was like, give me another hour, dude, give me another yeah. hour. Like I just yeah. want to be out here, and then you walk back, and you like 
phone starts to vibrate and you see the car and it's like society's out there and it's like yeah. fuck man I wish, I if i killed that deer it. i wouldn't need to come back i could eat and be <laughs> yeah, just eat sleeping and be is high dude stay warm yeah you know luke skywalker uh strategy well, we were clean we were cleaning this caribou and all of a sudden we heard the 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 oh no black bear Oh, I was thinking the caribou was still alive. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. what the fuck? <laughs> he like have his kidney in his you hand. You can feel it. It's <laughs> just like this bear is standing up in this sage, and heavy like breath, trying to find us. Heavy breath. <sighs> you just hear. You just hear the different. It made like two or three. Bro, they breathe sounds. like they're fucking. Yeah, they breathe like they are <sighs> fucking from behind, hard. Just yeah, trying to produce, produce whatever. They're, That's they're what's crazy about out. bear sex. It's like make make another. You seen one? Yeah. Can you pull that up? Can you pull two bears fucking? Yeah, please. Uh, <laughs> Go to X hamsters, please. Uh, <laughs> two bears. That's not what he asked for. He said two bears fucking. <laughs> you could type that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Brandon. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Oh, well, I don't want to. Okay. Oh, it right. goes straight to gays. <laughs> yeah, I'm not clicking on it. Free yeah, two bear gay don't, porn. Don't. Two bears doing public sex in the woods. Two bears fuck gay porn. Can't trust it. We're, yeah, you're no, just gonna yeah. have to imagine Sorry, it, Dean. Dean, you set us Dean, you set us right up for that one, dude. <laughs> that's great, dude. That's great. Yeah, I um, but being out there, and then there's a certain uh, like now we're strapping meat to our backs, and we were like relaxing in the first half. Yeah, and then we started hearing it, and then it's like, at what point does it get close enough that we go, fuck it, it can have the rest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it's gonna eat the carcass. It's gonna be happy with the carcass. If it finds the carcass, it's, it's gonna, gonna leave slow you. It's it gonna down. let you guys run. But it was getting close enough that I was like, I kept looking at my cousins, like, hey, are we gonna fucking I was the first one to be like, we should dip. Yeah. Like that thing sounds like it's, uh, it always takes one away. guy. I've been in those situations where everyone's thinking it, but they don't want to be the pussy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you got to be the pussy. dude. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm I'd rather be an alive dog. pussy than a dead badass. Because here's, here's the thing I'm going to, uh, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to ditch you guys. <laughs> yeah. People that aren't afraid of bears. Like it's that's crazy. not a guy I want on my team. Yeah. You're a liability. Are you kidding me? I don't know. It was. It was. And they each and maybe it's just because we don't grow up with them. I've been around mountain lions in Texas, and um, like my dad, my dad and I were walking in Big Bend, and he sees one, and he goes, "Hey, there's a cat," and I go, "Okay." Was it Maine Coon? And he goes, "Yeah, hey, hey, what do we look? What we're we talking about?" And he goes, "Right there," and I look up and I see it, and I go, "Oh shit!" And he goes, "Here's what you're gonna do. Don't freak out." He's like, "Just walk in front of me. Don't look back. Look, keep keep that around. I'm gonna keep behind you, watched." And let's just get out of here. And I was like, fine. And I got about hundred yards away, and I'm I'm just I'm just like looking at everything. Was it purring? At everything. Can you hear purr? You can't hear uh, it. You can't hear it. You, but you you see you see it, and then you see it disappear, and then it's like, well, what the fuck is it doing? Into the shadows, like scar. Yeah. Yeah. Be and so I'm just watching, watching, it. and then I go, I go, I go, hey, dad, and I turn around. He's not fucking behind me. <laughs> <laughs> he just let me walk out. Pops, dude, <laughs> all the way to the fucking trailhead, dude. Now, why are those so hard to hunt? Uh, they're just so few of them, and they're just you gotta they run dogs on a line, apex right? predators of of this. You gotta have dogs, um, and even when you get up on top of them, they like they will fight till the. I mean, couldn't a grizzly just have its way with a mountain lion though? I don't think a mountain lion would try it. That's what I'm saying. It'd have to get. I feel starving. like starving. I feel like it'd that, have to be that... absolutely starving. A grizzly is. Four times the size. I mean, a mountain lion's like 120, maybe. 140. Um, Grizzlies, they have a they have a deceptive reach, too. Yeah, but they're just, they're poundage, dude. Yeah. Grizzly they, bear, 100%. Why do they eat from the, a all right, so we got some stats here. That's a good search there, Brandon. Eight feet long, five feet tall, 400, 600 pounds speed, oh, 40 wow. miles per hour. Yeah, 120 to 220 pounds. That's Jesus. the bear. Mountain lions about half the weight, same speed, uh, two feet smaller, one foot less in length. I'm taking Can bear. Can leap twelve feet, pounces twenty feet when running. I'm taking highly bear. intelligent, highly intelligent. I mean, not that smart. Yo, can I get a puff of that? Yeah, dude. I think I'm taking the bear in this in this uh, in this bout. I wish we had that. What was that thing where they did fighters like samurais versus Apache? Deadliest warriors? warrior. Let's do that for grizzly bear versus mountain lion. Let's Are you good at? Um, okay, so we know that you can hunt. Yeah, and that's an important part of the show. There's people that aren't the best at that. Yeah. However, you don't get to choose your area. That's the thing. So there's people that like you get to choose. That's the but thing. You, you know choose the your area. Tool. You know, like the great, like 
These places are so big that someone will get like a desolate desert next to like a lake or something and someone will get thick in the woods. Like there's people that have no coverage. There's people that will have too much coverage. There's like Damn. shit like that. Like and you don't know. You don't. You don't. I don't think that I don't think they tell you when you get to choose your tools. Damn. So that like makes a big difference. you could have completely set up to hunt. Yeah. Your only options to trap. Damn. So that's why I would bring a bow and a and a and some kind of a trap. Yeah. And a fishing snares. I, you, I would I would can you do natural snares? With, yeah, I can do natural snares. Like uh, so then that's people like then that takes away that you don't need to take that tool. You don't need the cuz I get you can get like trap. wire. Yeah. You can get wire, you can get rope. Um some most ropes back off. So if the if the animal like really claws at it, you got to have something that like a uh, that I've seen see people make the wood piece that once it gets sucked down, it's like a it's a like a block. And it's got two holes, and once it gets sucked down, you can't pull it back out. Right, it's like right. A tensioner. Brandon, how long you lasted on this show? Uh, a day or two. A couple of days. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I wish I was more like survival savvy, but I'm not. I got a good will, but I would need like a teacher. Like if you drop me alone, I guess the show is called Alone. Yeah, I'm super fucked. Yeah. Yeah. If I could right. have a buddy, if it was called like also, buddy. I feel like your biggest crutch is there's not going to be someone alone. to like just <sighs> pretty much alone. Yeah, Brandon's biggest kind downfall is that there's not going to be a buddy to like debrief the day with at night. Yeah, I'm just you need get, a pal to chat with. Yeah, I'm gonna get sad and lonely. Yeah, and I need I need to get a hang. And that's what happens. Some people start losing their start mind, and, like talking. Weed. Yes, Wilson. Yeah, start talking to Wilson or like the or just a little like yeah, squirrel. and being alone. Like yeah. I like I like being around people. Right. Know? It's a it's a it's a I can do I can, million dollar. Uh, purse, by the way, million dollar purse. If you win, wow! Yeah. But that's the thing, my the, Dean. I think you could do it. Knowing. I think we sign you up. I think this takes your career to the next level. Does you're it? cracking jokes while you're out there. You're, <laughs> you'll be a fan fucking favorite. Yeah, yeah. you will be I a think fan. I got the career. And by the way, the fan. Boot by the base. way, yeah, you're a great looking guy. Thank you. You are going to come out sliced. Oh man, dude, Just beach bod. I start. Ready. I start fucking. I start building. Building a pull up bar. Yeah, dude. By the time the mold's like gonna that extra. mold's gonna be tickling your asshole by the time you're done, <laughs> dude. Dude, you're gonna, your hair is gonna be glorious. Uh, uh, no, but I think we I put think your the name. Cold in weather that. really fucks with me. If the they cold weather is not cold. gonna be good for you, but the thing about cold is no bugs. No bugs. Yes. Oh yeah. When oh at this time of year in Texas, thank God, bring it on. Do you ever on. watch Naked and Afraid? Yeah. The, the 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 bug bites they get are fucking insane. Dude, my biggest fear on that is poison ivy to the pecker. Uh, like I'm always like, are they brushing up on things? Like what? Like I see them climbing, getting close to the rocks. Like what if a little scorpion just has his way with your dick? Mm, mm. Yeah, My dick does look like a juicy caterpillar. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. It does. It doesn't yeah. have bumps like a caterpiller. It no. doesn't inch along like that. But <laughs> it doesn't. You can't it make yours inch it long. Have yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean it inches along now. Hold on. <laughs> it, it, it's inches long, but it it's doesn't inch along. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, I uh, I just think you would kill that show, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks, I think man. you would do really well. I think you'd be. I think we'd have good fanfare. Yeah. I think they you because like there's people that are so good. Do they tell you when everybody else quits? No, it's not like the Hunger Games where they blast off oh, the cannon. That would be so cool. <laughs> you have no idea. You just. You just sitting there and whoa what and then oh, that bitch here's what's really cool quit. is the way you win is like your most loved one like for you like probably your mom or your dad or if like you're married spencer cabins yes yeah, spencer <laughs> will just show up to your hunt uh to your campsite one and day go, it's time to go home and give you a hug and be like let's get out of here and then you guys get airlifted out but it's like Fuck what if you're going yeah. so crazy that you don't believe they're there and you freak out and like fire an arrow at them because you think Damn. it's like an, a hog oh well, they do those check-ins, probably mental yeah, health. Yeah, they do, they do check the check-ins, and I've seen one girl get pulled from the check-in, but they're like, listen, we love your will, we have, but you're crazy is the problem. Yeah. You're, not, you're not eating. You haven't eaten anything in fucking weeks. You're losing so much weight. You're talking pounds. to squirrels. You're crying every time you kill. We got to pull you. So we got to pull you. Yeah. She was starting to feel like she might have killed what's, herself. What's the average day? How many days are these people making it? Can you look up the – yeah. we pulled up a 78, but I want to say someone's gone longer. Longest on alone. Hundred days is the longest. Brother, I could do a hundred days, especially if that's the longest. I don't. I don't have to worry about that guy. I got to worry about the people I'm with. In summary, the average number of days survived is thirty-seven. Thirty-seven 49. to forty-nine. Bring it the fuck on, dude. Tessie, ten sounds grueling to me. Really? 
I've done dude, 10. I've, I've had some. I've uh, done 10 with I've had some land. Stove. I've had some serious Navy land nav uh training dude yeah. tactical fucking training where we were out in the thick of it we had nothing that's how i told you my pay i know my pace count yeah. 78 is exactly 100 yards for me nice. i know how to read a compass i know how to read a map a chart but yeah. i didn't have to hunt i had a bag of jerky on me mm-hmm. i had a couple mres yeah i think you make uh yeah if you're if you're, if you're killing something i think making jerky smoking it yeah building you a little box yeah i mean this guy was just roasting meat over the, the fire he wasn't it. wasting time on recipes but i guess everything stays like it's, free, it's freezing out there fuck dude that's gonna really fuck with me yeah so shelter yeah. and fire are huge how do you feel in those areas i feel good about fire what about shelter shelter is not really a, an issue in texas um it's like most of the time you sleep on the ground next to a campfire. Dean, it keeps the bugs away. Dean, I don't want to hear the word Texas come out of your mouth for the next. We're not <laughs> it's fucking. All I, we're not in Texas here. <laughs> the quite literally the exact opposite. Uh, that's what. That's that's the hard part. That's the thing I'd have to get over. Hopefully, I'm mentally strong. Well, your enough. pitch. What we're gonna do? Yeah. How we're gonna pitch you to this uh-huh. is like when we submit your like tape. Yeah. It's gonna be like I'm here to prove everyone Texas is better than the rest. Like we can survive anything. That's gonna be anything. your whole your whole angle. Yeah. So because you. The thing is, is you need half the people that love you. You need that, or the people that love you, you need the same amount that hate you. Yes, you, yes. you do. Yeah, yeah. You to, do. Br- to build that, yeah. Any, to build the, the any true publicities, bad yeah. publicities, publicity in this certain, yeah. Uh huh. In this, as long as you're not getting, you know, as long as. Long and as what is their? Ca- that's the thing, other thing I don't understand. There's just a camera out there following. No, you? they have GoPros. No camera crew. No camera. So you have to film yourself. Like there's a certain amount of like they can pull you if you're not reaching. Like hey, dude, you're giving us no content. You're just trying to survive. Damn. Like we need confessionals. We need uh um fuck it. Uh we need all that shit. So you need to be on top of filming and, and yeah. whatnot. Hey, can you go see if Sam's out front? Yep. Uh he's calling me. But yeah, so that they don't have a camera crew. It's not like Bear Grill show. Yeah, that's the other thing with like Naked and Afraid and and some of those other ones. It's yeah, like, they're not in real danger. It's like at any point, someone's there. There's a medical crew, I'd imagine. Yeah. Uh, but this, there's if you go, there. if you go silent, you go radio silence for oh, a couple dude, of days. Here's a, like a drone out there to look at you. Yeah, here's a crazy way a guy got kicked off. Okay. He was being cornered by a bear in his campsite and I think either one or two but like he even had it on footage like he put the camera out like this bear was just like staring him down huffing and puffing and he was like I have to quit like yeah I have to call in right now like this is an emergency the thing is he calls in Uh and they're like "All right, we're gonna try to find you like we're gonna try to find your location like we're searching they were searching through the night to find him it took they took him like six hours to find this guy and by that time the bear was already gone and so they're like, all right, we're pulling you out. He's like, look, I called you because I was in immediate danger. Yeah. I was going to get eaten by a bear. It didn't work out that way. But the bear's gone now. Yeah. I but wanted, he did have footage of the bear. Yeah, he had footage of the bear. And he's like, I want to stay. This is fucking horse shit. Yeah. You guys didn't, like. Save me. You didn't save me. So did he get to stay? or did No, they they're like, out? you called oh. You called out, man. You quit. The second you quit, you quit. That's crazy. You know? Why don't you just fucking hype that dude he was a guy that elected for the traps he took the trap route he did not have uh a firearm that sucks which i guess a bow is uh sam out there yeah okay which i guess a bow we'll wrap up in five minutes a bow is a firearm or isn't it's not i think fire needs to be involved right yeah yeah, yeah. it's 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 ammunition i think separates a firearm from a weapon yeah I, i would believe so a weapon including a starter gun which is designed or readily converted to expel a projectile by the action of an explosive. Yeah, because it's a small uh, explosion every 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 shot, right? Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah when as soon as that hammer hits the back of the bullet, it ignites or it combusts. Well, it it hits a it hits a cap that's the that ignites it, and then it's ignites the powder powder, which creates the pressure to push the bullet out. Yeah, of the casing, and then the the second thing that happens is once it I think once it touches oxygen, it 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 creates the more yeah like oh dude I I got one shot off at a target yesterday and it felt yeah. good felt good felt good we punched it right hit, through we both hit in the dude you hit dead center I, I mean was what very happy with what that. a shot dude very happy with what that. a one shot time, one wonder what a um, shot 
But yeah, no, I think maybe we uh, try to get Dean on the show, dude. I yeah. think we do. I think maybe you, uh, while you're out there, mention the captain's dogs. Like, yeah. subscribe every every day. I give a give an update for the captain's dogs. Yeah, you're an honorary dog. Most most appearances on this show. No shit. Most appearances. Three. Fuck yeah. Three. three. There's Pete. Sam's come. Sam's about to do two today. He's coming for your ass. Nah, he's better. So we'll have to get you back, out, dude. We'll have to get you back I'll soon. Him. I'll pants him on the way my way out. But uh, no, dude, hunting with you is a dream. I can't wait to do it again. I'd oh, love yeah, to get man. Brandon out there. I'd like to get multiple animals. Yeah. I think we get Brandon on a duck. I think we do. I, I think do, that's I a good. A yeah. That's a good I mean, start. You've never taken <clears throat> life. No. Minus like a fly. Yeah, I killed a bunch of those. Yeah. Ants. Yeah, but you've never neighborhood crickets. Cat. You've never taken something that could take you. No. no. Okay. Which these deer can. Did you say cat? <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I was just I was doing a joke. No okay. Just, I, was, I, I, I said say. the neighborhood cat. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Felix. Cat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hairball. <laughs> yeah. But um I would like to get Brandon on a duck. That would so, be fun. I would That'd like to get him on a mallard, uh, a buffalo head. Those are the only two I know. Yeah. But I'd, I'd like to get him on a duck. And uh, I want him in the trenches. Walls. I want him in waders. I want him to get wet. I want him in the mud. I got one pair of extra waders. I got some waders. Okay, they'll fit in. They're a little big on me, and they got Wait, a hole. Wait, what in size the shoe are you? Twelve. Jesus Christ. Flippers. That's what we call, we call them. Flippers. Flippers. Yeah. <laughs> I, got a, I got a size ten. I can, uh, I can make it fit. You think so? Probably not. Yeah. But. Well, there's a. We, you can also just go to Academy and 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 buy a pair, and then go back the next day and be like, I didn't like them. They didn't fit. Yeah, we could always redneck it too. I mean, you can, but uh, Wonder it's. Bread bags? Uh, I want Brandon to get. I want him to get at least one tick. At least one tick. Yeah, you least, gotta get a tick. Yeah, I'm down, get a tick. I'm down. What's the cool part about going hunting in the woods is when you get home, you gotta have your girlfriend fucking go every she square did. inch. I had a bug on my back. Did you really? I had a little red bug on my back. Damn right. Got it right off though. Got it right off. Got it right That's off. What's good about good it? Yeah. I pulled a tick Great off my lady. body once. It's kind of sensational. It's uh, I've gotten them, dude. I went, we went crawling in some sunflower fields, dove hunting, and I got. Ch- I mean, all time stamp that, please. Up into <laughs> that that all up right in my up. balls. And what I did was what you're supposed to do. If you get them on your legs, you just take a little bit of nail polish, and you just you put a dot over every single one, right? Yeah. So I went. I mean, and I just got them all up in here. And so I I just I dotted and dotted. And it got to the point where I was just like, I'm just gonna baste my leg, just baste the leg. I'm like maybe 15 years old, baste in the leg, baste in the leg, and then I you gotta wait for it to dry. And uh, and after it dries, you uh, you go back with uh, alcohol and and uh, and paint back over it right? and get it to get it off you. And I went in there. And so it's like my fucking I'm naked in gonads, my bedroom. Gonads out. Gonads out. And I go to sleep after a long hunt, painted it up, got the itching gone. And then I finally fucking pass out. I wake up. My nuts are glued to my leg. <gasps> And now I that try is to like, terrifying, brother. You, try you don't to like, just rip them off. You can't. No. You. I, I mean, I try. I mean, I try to like <laughs> fucking. I was like, oh, God damn. I'm gonna call my dad in because also just you got a little silly putty on your thigh, dude. You just like <laughs> my leg is half glued to this one, and so I gotta like roll over. And I tried to get up, tried to get up. Finally, had to yell at my dad, and he comes in there. What the? Oh, why are you? Jesus why are you standing? Christ. Why are you looking like you got to pee, boy? He's yeah, like, bro, God, my just, leg are my legs dad, are dad, stuck. Dad, pillow. Just give me some alcohol. I just need some alcohol. <laughs> one time I woke up, my dad woke me up for bed, and uh, I pulled a light bulb out of my pants. And he was like, what the fuck is that? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I put a light bulb in my pants last night and fell asleep. And he was like, dude, that's very dangerous. If you rolled over on that, you could have lost your penis. And I was like, I just kind of like the way it felt. <laughs> <laughs> and this has never been addressed until right now. And, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say to you right now. Yeah, dude. So yeah. Just, you, just, you just had a light bulb. How old? How old were you? I want, this is a, vivid rem- is a vivid memory. I was probably watching Nick at night, 9 to 11. Okay. Put okay. it in your ass? Like, no, no, front. No, no, no. Put in your dick hole, like front well, side. No, it just it was smooth. You, you don't get it. I, I don't. He That's what I'm trying to he understand. <laughs> God forbid I try. I don't know. I don't get it either, bulb. dude. It's, it's a red flag. My dad stopped a lifestyle that day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he put a lifestyle. Did you ever do it again? No, I've never done it since. No, I might try it this afternoon. Can don't roll over, happen? dude. Don't, don't roll, roll over. over. It's kind of like that's what it is. It's like a dangerous thing. You know, you're going to bed. It's like it's like falling asleep with an, your erect penis right next to a rat trap. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, dude. I think we're gonna put a bow on this. That one. was that was great. That was uh, fun. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you coming for out, dude. On. I know it was a brief, uh, brief recording yeah. here today, but uh, the Beatles yeah, did it all the time. You know, you gotta get a single down. You get you gotta throw a single on the booth. You gotta throw a single on the booth. Dude. That's one hundred percent true. That's what we're doing here today. This will come out next week. I don't know if you have anything to plug. Put it out. I know you have six different fucking web series online <laughs> you could you dean is all over youtube folks. if you want to go watch if you want more of this guy don't don't you worry <laughs> i'm catching catfish with my hands on youtube uh, yeah my buddies right go those. no let me i'll send them if you want to see more dean a good place to start is the people you know show also mm-hmm. welcome to texas he's got uh comedy sets online he's been featured in skank fest only fans tv you got a special on that is that right that's true yeah so your shit's out there go go that's check out stuff. dean's body of work one of the first comedians to book me on a club show because we met at a gas station. I was buying a condom and a burrito. <laughs> yeah, you you sure were buying were. a beer for the ride home. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, fast friends, dude. Fast friends. Fast fucking and friends. Looking forward good to a good, long, since. fruitful friendship. Yeah, Dean is a uh, regular here at the Creek in the Cave. Performs over th- all the time. I've hosted for his headlining night. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah you did. Dude. So... What a good time. I just I did what Brandon did for me when I was on his uh, podcast last week. I plugged everything so you can just get the fuck out of here. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, dude. Fucking so uh, thanks for coming by, bro. Effortless as always. Effortless. Brandon, plug what you got to plug. Uh, Rock, Rocky's Piano Bar every Wednesday, Creek Cave Live every Thursday, once a month, <laughs> taking shots. And, I, and I'll make sure that it's only on <laughs> Dean's ass right now. Did someone sign your ass? Yeah, Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll signed your ass <laughs> with a tattoo gun? Or he signed <laughs> Do you think we can put this on the pod? Si- he signed it, and then they immediately went. Nice, dude. Captain's ass, woof, woof. Button.